Well, g'day everyone. Um, <clears throat> it's Corin Zenith here. Um, today I'll be um, reviewing, uh, not really reviewing, I wouldn't call myself a beer connoisseur, uh, but uh, more of a taste, taste test. Um, so just uh, really sharing with you guys one of my favourite beers at the moment. Um, recently I've just been getting more into, you know, really well crafted beers, not just the cheap stuff, you know, just really enjoying the flavour, um, uh, you know, what it's about. Um, unfortunately, you, you know, you, you pay through the nose a little bit when, you, when you're wanting to get good beer and, um, but you know, I guess it's, it's more of a wine in the sense you can really sit back and enjoy it and appreciate it for what it is. Um, this is a local uh, beer. Um, it's by a group called uh, Vale Brewery down in McLaren Vale in South Australia. Um, it's their IPA. I'll just do a bit of a close up for you. There we go. Here's the IPA there. Alright. Alright. Um, it's 5.5% uh, alcohol and it says on the back here, it says um, Vale IPA is our interpretation of an American Indian Pale Ale using a combination of hops from three countries. The beer is designed with a balance of malt and hops giving a firm bitterness showing passion fruit, citrus and stone fruit characters. Let's give it a crack, eh? Okay. It's got pretty decent head retention. Um, I'm no expert, by the way. Um, colours really quite nice. A decent amount of carbonation, but it seems to be easing off. Um, or just just a little bit. I'll get a little bit of a close up. Oh. Here we go. See that there? It's quite good. There we go. First things first. When you smell it, it does kind of remind you of a you know paddle over at a summer barbie or something you know you, they've got that passion fruity type of citrusy smell to the hops it smells really refreshing give it a crack that is really refreshing man um <coughs> Look, at first, um, it, it, it goes down really easy, all right? Um, you get a little bit of bitterness at the back of the palate um, after a while, but it kind of disappears fairly qu quickly. But you're not left with really with a dry mouth. You're left with a lot of freshness there. Um, and it's retaining a fair bit of head. Um, now, just a bit of background. I, um, I, this is, Vail IPA was the first ever IPA I had ever tried. I was intrigued by the Indian Pale Ale. Before I even knew what it stood for, uh, I wanted to try it because uh, Mr. Craig Fairway and Craig, Craig Chew, uh, big fan of his by the way, um, he got me back into home, home brewing and um, I, I just noticed he was, he was drinking a lot of IPA, Cooper's Extract Kit IPA. I decided to give it a crack and I bought a local one. And hey guys. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, uh, the um, the uh, video cut out then. I'm not really sure what happened, but um, yeah, look, um, I decided to give this a crack. Um, like I said, I've already finished it now, but uh, it's got really nice lacing. That's for you, Craig. Um, really lovely lacing there. Um, but uh, anyway, it's a it's a local stuff. I recommend anyone to try their local stuff. You know, it's really great to support local. Uh, uh, well, not just breweries, but you know, local. Um, you know, restaurants, um, uh, organisations, and things like that. But uh, these guys are great. Look, that's basically it, guys. Um, I just wanted to share that with you in case you're local. Um, you you want to give that a shot? Maybe you haven't seen it, but nine times out of ten, you probably have seen it if you go to one of the big brew, uh, one of the big uh, beer stores. But um, it, you know, it's like four bucks a bottle, and for 330 mils that's pretty expensive but it's just a nice beer to sit back and just to enjoy it you know let's get back to enjoying stuff you know enjoying life you know um, 
eating, drinking, and being merry, and just being thankful for what we have in this in this amazing country. Um, anyway, so look, that's it. Um, I may post some more stuff in the future. Uh, I want to just give a big shout out to Mr. Craig Faraway. Um, he's a great inspiration. He just seems like a really top bloke. It's just really great to uh, to listen to him. Um, and uh, you know, look, I could just listen to him for hours. You know, and it's not just about a beer. Just the way that it comes across to him. It's not just a hobby. What he puts into it, his character and his personality comes through, and you could just listen to him for hours if it's, you know, if it's about his cooking, music, beer, whatever. It's just a really great channel. I, you know, I recommend anyone just to have, just to give it a crack, even if you're not into beer that much. It's just, you know, he's a, he's a top, he's a top, top bloke, and he's a fantastic singer, by the way. Fantastic. Listen to his stuff. Uh, that's that's uh, Craig Craig Tube on YouTube. He's got plenty of stuff on there, dating back six years. He's been doing this down in his basement over in. Uh, Canada, so um, give it a shot. Anyway, um, take care, be safe, blessings to you and your family, and um, look after yourself. See you later.